Hey, welcome back to the channel today, everybody. I am glad you have chosen to spend a little of your time with us today. Uh, today's video is about how much we paid for our cruise from Tampa, Florida to Barcelona, Spain. It was a 14-day crossing on Royal Caribbean's Rhapsody of the Seas. And uh, I wanted to do this video because I like watching these YouTube videos that people put out. I love them sharing their experiences with me and giving me tips and tricks on what they do and I get a lot of great information on uh, different things that maybe I want to do but rarely do I see anybody disclosing the price or at least not very often do I see them disclosing prices for what they do and that is important to me if you're like me you're probably on some kind of budget and uh, so money matters and I want to be as transparent as possible on our blog and let you know what we are paying for our trip and maybe if there's certain parts or aspects of this trip that we're doing that you want to do you can have the information you need to decide whether or not that's in your budget or start planning and making that uh, a reality for you so that's why I'm doing this video we're going to be doing a lot more videos on our cost of our trip including monthly budgets breakdowns and also the cost of each city we live in and uh, various other vlogs that have to do with how much we are spending for this trip to give you an idea of if this is something that uh, you think you might want to do. And so the cost of our cruise, uh, let's get down to that. The total cost that we paid for the actual cruise itself was $4,541, and that's for six of us. So that breaks down to about $757 per person which if you consider all you get for that, I really think that that's a bargain. I mean, that's about the same cost as a flight to Europe. Granted, that would probably get you a round trip flight in many cases, but uh, that got us from Tampa to uh, Barcelona. And not only did it get us there, but included all our lodging the whole time we were there, included food, included entertainment, included multiple stops along the way as you see in this video that we have playing before you um, so I just think the cruise is a great value but there are some hidden costs uh, so in addition to that four thousand five hundred forty one dollars we paid for the actual cruise we also had to pay one thousand one hundred fifty dollars in gratuity so you add that one thousand one hundred fifty dollars in gratuity and that bumps the price up for the cruise to $5,691. So, you know, that's that's a significant increase in the cost. So you divide that by uh, the six of us, and that's 948 bucks per person uh, to, to go on the cruise. Again, I still think that's a pretty good deal for everything we got, all the places we got to go, everything we got to do. I still think that's a bargain. Um, Another hidden cost, though, with the cruise, for us at least, because we don't live by a port city. I mean, if you live by L.A. or Galveston or any place in Florida where the cruises go out a lot, this wouldn't be an issue. But we had to fly to get to the uh, cruise. So flying to get to the cruise from Phoenix, where we flew out of, was an additional... $1,073. I had to look that up there. $1,073. So add that to that $5,691 that we had. And you come up with a grand total of $6,764 for the cruise. Now, that is the total that we had to pay to get on this cruise and to take it. And if, again, if you divide that by the six of us, that is $1,127 per person, which again, for me, for what we got, that was still obviously worth it for us. That's why we did it. Um, but you got to be aware of some of these kind of add-on costs. You can look at the price, and uh, especially when it comes to cruises, you can get some really great prices. I'm going to put a link on the bottom here in the show notes to some places you can get some really great cruises. One of them is Cruising Direct. And the other one is vacations to go.com. And uh, when you look at those brochure prices and then you look at the discount prices that you get, it can make you really excited for what you get to do. But you got to remember that there are these add on costs. 
and we had to pay an additional add-on cost ourselves because there were six of us. If it had been just Cameo and I going, then we would have been able to get this for a lot cheaper because we had to pay an upgraded rate in order to get the kids in the room with us and to have the extra people and rooms right by each other and things like that. So those extra fees added up for us as well. But uh, you you will definitely get value on most cruises you go, especially if you book through one of these discount uh, vendors. So I would check that out for sure. Now, um, another thing that I just wanted to say is if you're watching this and you enjoyed this video, of course, as we always say, please subscribe. That really does help us out. But also, since we're talking about money, I thought this would be a good place to uh, throw in a little plug for ourselves here. And as I do, I want to tell you, there's a way that you can support this vlog or this YouTube channel without having to pay anything. And so I wanted to tell you about that. If you enjoy these videos and you want to support us in any way, and you already shop on Amazon for any of your goods, then I'm going to ask you to help us out here. If you'll just go to the show notes of any of our videos, I have uh, in the show notes a link to an Amazon uh, webpage. And if you go to do your shopping at Amazon and link to us before you go, then we get a commission off that. It doesn't uh, cost you anything more. You won't have to pay an extra penny for any of the items you buy, but it will give us a small commission, which helps us make these uh, vlogs and uh, helps us give you this information. So if you find this uh, content helpful, if it's something that you enjoy, then please consider before you go to do your shopping on Amazon, coming to our YouTube channel, clicking on those show notes, click on our Amazon affiliate link, and then do all your shopping like normal. Like I said, it won't cost you an extra penny, but it sure helps us out. So if you uh, want to do that or wouldn't mind doing that for us, we sure would appreciate it. But I hope you found this content of value today. And uh, if you did, leave us your comments. If you have any questions, we'd love to answer them. Just put them in the show notes or in the comments below. And uh, we'll get back to you as soon as we can on those. But wherever you are, whatever you're doing, I hope you're having a great day as always as you live your journey.